Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. We are back inside of AnyType and if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about productivity and mental health. So I do a lot of productivity app reviews and tutorials and today we are taking a look at something inside of AnyType. And today we are looking into date linking, which is a feature I just recently figured out and recently started using. So we are inside of my YouTube test space. So I have two spaces. I have my personal space where I actually write things down and do things. And then I have my YouTube test space, which I mainly use uh, for making these YouTube videos or just for testing out different stuff and ideas for future YouTube videos. Anyways, we are inside of here and we are going to do a date link. So you can easily do a date link by writing at today or you could write a date, but I am just going to use today because that's mainly what I use. So there are several use cases for this because when you open it up, you can see what is linked to this date. And I like doing this inside of my journals because it gives me a way of looking back at things. So let's say you wanted to make a journal set or a journal database. I think we should probably make this a set. Uh, so let's start with doing that. We will call this journal just for the sake of this video. I will come back with a good journal template in another video. But let's say we have made this and now we can create a set based off journal. We do backslash set uh, and we will use the journal type. Uh, and we can call this journaling. And let's say I wanted to create a new object. So if we give this uh, a name, I mainly do names and not dates inside of my journal because I care more about how I was feeling than about when I was feeling it. So depending on what I write, uh, I just start off with calling it journal. And depending on what I write, I will go in and change this. But you could just say journal 30th of November. Uh, and once you have written your whole journal, let's just to show you today, instead of writing today, I did a, you can uh, write at today, I did a good job at work just as an example and when you jump back into this you can see all of your uh, journal entries on different days that's one thing you can do the other thing you could do is probably habits is another good option for this so if you have a set of habits uh, let's say there are five or six things you would like to do um, in my case, it would be reading uh, and writing a journal. Just as, again, as an example, you could call, create a type called habits, and you could add your habits inside of here. Let's create this, and uh, we will create another set. I need to go back and clean up this YouTube test space, uh, and we will use habits. Uh, and we can do um, journaling first. So journaling, and once you're done, you can easily just go in and write today, and you will get a list of your of your habits that you have done every single day. So this is another thing you could do, but honestly, the best thing, uh, in my opinion, for using this date linking is journaling and writing about specific events that happened on specific days so you can go back into your dates and actually look what happened the 30th uh, of november and you can jump into here and you can look at all of the different things that happened 
This reminds me sort of like a bullet journal setup for those of you familiar with that, where we can write down our different thoughts, ideas that came on specific days and we can look through our journal and figure and figure out what we uh, what we actually have done um, on that specific day. Uh, so I would probably use it for that. That's my use case of the date linking. But there are probably a lot of different good use cases for this. I will need to do a little bit more uh, experimentation until I actually have a better way of using this because I believe there are many better ways to be using it. Uh, however, I think the way of I just show you with linking specific events to specific days can make your life a lot easier. Um, so just to show you one more thing before we end this video, uh, you could do a search and actually find the date. So if you're looking for something that's happened on a specific date, you could write the date um you could write the date let's say it is 30th november or 30th january uh so this shows me monday january the 30th uh, 2023 there are no objects but if i had an object i could uh, go in and see exactly what happened in that day so i would probably write the date in many of my objects, my ideas, things that happen, meetings, I would probably write the date uh, and link it back to the date so I would be able to go back and see everything that happened throughout the year because I do a thorough yearly review. Uh, I love my yearly reviews so that's another use case for date linking if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below in the comment section as i said in my last video the full tutorial is coming i am working on it it will be out before christmas but it takes a lot of time actually preparing and making a long video like that again any questions any apps you want me to review, anything you're wondering, please do leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you again quite soon.